Hi, today I'm at uh, AC Hotel Guan Tan. This is AC Hotel Guan Tan maintenance office. Okay, now I'm waiting for the maintenance to bring me to the LV, HB, and Genset room. Alright, first of all, let's explore their office. <laughs> ah, this is their office. Typical maintenance office, full of spare part and quite practical. All the hands-on tools available. Okay, this is AC Hotel Guan Tan. This is the genset room. Okay, we have a Volvo Penta engine here. Okay, first of all, before we test run the genset, let's check the parameters first. Okay, pump here a few times to avoid the airlock. Okay, let's check the fuel holes. Make sure fuel holes no leakages, no oil leakages, no engine oil leakages, and no radiator water leakages. All right. No problem here. It's just recently been serviced on 2021. All right, just about a year. Okay, this is a 300 kVA genset engine. Okay, let's check the battery. It's using lead acid battery. Okay, here the cell. There's some uh, insufficient of electrolyte. Advice to top up a bit. Okay. Okay, overall the electrolyte is quite high. The plate inside is immersed inside battery water. Okay. No issues. No sign of overheating. Okay, battery termination, okay, strong. No corrosion here, no oxidization at the terminal head. All right, let's check the engine oil. Engine oil okay, is in good condition. Okay, belting, belting okay, no problem. Radiator water level. Okay, sufficient. There's water inside, however, I can feel some dirt inside. Advisable to do flushing and replace coolant for the next servicing. Okay, this is a Genset AMF panel. Currently is under auto mode. Shutdown timer set at about two minutes. Five hundred M MCCB. Borang B, uh, expire, expiry at 2021, the latest one is not attached here. Okay, calibration date just done, expiring on 2023. Alright, DC fuel level at here, this level. Less than 50% advisable to top up and refill back at least half the level. Okay, overall the room is quite neat and tidy, dry, is in good condition. Okay, we are going to test run genset one time here from the AMF panel, all right? Okay, let's test the genset. Use test mode.
Okay, the genset seems to be in good condition. Okay, right now we're going to proceed to another another room. So later on we're going to test the genset one more time remotely from the ATS panel. Okay. Okay, we're going to the consumer transformer room. Okay, before we enter, let's check the CO2 panel. Okay, CO2 panel is in good condition. Okay, this is a cast resin transformer. We have transformer 1 and transformer 2 here. Both using air natural. Okay, we have the cast resin transformer here. Here it shows that both transformer also using step number 3. Alright. Transformer 1 and transformer 2. Both using step number 3. Okay, we have first aid chart available. CO2, pilot cylinder, pressure gauge is okay in the green zone. Tripping unit. Okay, it's just been serviced. Okay. Nickel cap battery. Battery water level. Need to top up a little bit low here. Okay. And then the voltage is a little bit high somewhere around 40 we're going to use a volt meter to clarify later on okay let's check the voltage and m voltage is 11.3 kV and m is 14.9 11.3 kV uh, it is recommended to use a uh, tap 2 or tap 1 okay we're going to measure the LV voltage later on Overall, the conditions of the transformer room is dry, no water, no moisture. However, according to the technician here, previously there is flood. Okay. All right. Here we have the temperature controller. Transformer number two. Average is about sixty-three degrees Celsius. Whereas transformer number one, fifty-seven point three. Okay, protection relay in good condition. Just been calibrated. Indicator light fuse. Advice to replace indicator light. Okay, overall inside the HP room, not much big issue happened. The transformer temperature is at allowable temperature No big issue here, only minor issues So Now we are going to proceed to The LV room and test run the genset from there Okay, here I'm inside the AC Hotel Kuantan LV room I'm going to check the voltage here Okay On single phase, alright So uh, here we have a wood meter here Okay, let's check the voltage on the single phase to see what are the values. Okay. Let's see the voltage. Okay, here we have a higher range of 253 and above a little bit. Not advisable, it's too high on single phase. Yellow phase. Oh, this one due to the indicator light fuse. So, so we don't get any reading all right then uh, we're going to check the okay here 253.5 it's quite high advice to change the transformer tap this higher range of uh, voltage fluctuations can easily cause damage to the connected equipment here we have a yellow phase, 253, blue phase, 255, this is the highest, okay, not advisable. On the frequency side, 50 hertz, no issue, alright. So, uh, on three phase, if let's say you're using the 440 capacitor bank, your capacitor bank can easily 
gets faulty because of the higher range of voltage. Okay, why? Let us measure the voltage and you see. It's about 438 and here, yellow and blue, this is the highest, it's about 440 and a little bit more. It's higher than the permissible range of the transformer voltage rating. Okay, and here at the both MSP panel here, we don't have any search protection device. Okay, even here also, there's no search protection device installed. Here also, no search protection device installed. So if there's any over voltage search, there's no protection to the motor chiller or anything else. Okay, no search protection device. And this is a two compartment. There's no search protection device installed so. Okay. Okay, let's check the power factor now. So now we have uh, MSP number one, transformer one, and this is the capacitor bank panel. This compensation is for MSP one. Okay. The current power factor now is 0 0.95. Load at 10% load. This is a secondary current. Okay, let's go to the set power vector is 0 0.95, set at only one step energized, CK value, auto detect, sensitivity by default, reconnection time by default, rated step. Okay, from here, if we scroll down using the arrow key here, we can know which step is faulty. Step one, okay, step two, okay, three, okay, 4OK, 5OK, 6OK, 7OK, 8OK, 9 is 40, 10 is 40, 11, 12, or oh. it's not 40, maybe it's just 8 step available. Yes, it's only 8 step available. So for MSP number 1, all the capacitor bank step is in good condition, no issue. And then now we proceed to MSP number 2. Okay, as usual, MSP number 2. Current, we have step 1, 5, 7, 9, and 10 energized. Okay, but here we have 8 step. Okay, let's go down. Okay, set at 0 0.95. CK value, auto detect, sensitivity, and reconnection time by default. Let's look at the rated step. Step 1, 2 OK, 3 OK, 4 is faulty, step number 4 faulty. Step 5 OK, 6 OK, 7 partially faulty, 8 is OK. Okay, then the rest is just normal contact. Okay, so far only uh, one partially faulty and one step faulty. Okay, let's have a look at the capacitor bank from behind okay here we are behind the capacitor bank panel okay here I can see a thermostat however uh, we don't know whether the ventilation fan is still in good condition or not okay oh the ventilation fan is already faulty okay is faulty so advisable to replace it okay here we have the capacitor bank just uh, recently been replaced uh, two years ago so the rating of the capacitor bank is 525 okay otherwise if using 440 it will fuse out pretty fast because of the higher LV voltage range and then we have another panel, same, all capacitor bank have just been recently been replaced. Alright, inside this LV room, we have this uh, retaining wall here to prevent water from seeping in. As according to them, previously there is a water flooding externally from outside of this building. So they put this wall to prevent water from coming inside the LV room. Okay, but here, 
they have a rubber mat here but it's already uh, worn and damaged so uh, they're going to replace a new rubber mat for the MSB panel so here they have a schematic drawing but there's no engineer and doors then they have a first aid chart over here and same as also here schematic drawing uh, but here they didn't attach the borang B okay there's no borang B attached here okay this is the behind They have a coupler here, MSB2, MSB1, outgoing and outgoing this side. This is basically the essential panel. Okay, here we have the essential panel. Okay, later on they're going to test run the genset remotely from here by jumping these two signal. Okay, and the change over timer relay here. Okay, no issue. Set at five seconds. And this is a UVR relay. And this is the ATS. Alright, so currently, uh, this is the essential outgoing. Okay, I'm going to call the genset to start from here. Alright. Here we have a jumper wire, okay, I'm going to jump here between X1 and X2. Okay, I just allow the gen to start automatically by itself. Ah, I can hear the sound. Now the gen is running. Okay, this proved that successfully I can test run the genset from the ATS panel. And now I remove the jumper wire and the genset AMA panel will initiate a shutdown timer which is set at 3 minutes. Alright. So now we just wait for the genset to stop automatically. If let's say the genset is able to stop automatically later on, then prove that during TMB power failure, the genset is able to start automatically and stop automatically. So, it's all under auto mode and the auto mode is in good condition. Okay, uh, after 3 minutes, the genset successfully stopped automatically. So, uh, this proved that genset is in good condition. No problem here. So, now the genset is at standby and rest mode. Okay, uh, this ends up my visit today and this is all I have to say about as of today so uh, thanks for watching and goodbye